The first moon of 2018 was also the first supermoon of the year. A supermoon is when the full moon is closest to the Earth. It occurs about once in every 14 full moons. During a full eclipse something incredible happens. The moon is fully in Earth's shadow. At the same time a little bit of the light from Earth's sunrise and sunsets falls on the surface of the moon. Because the light waves are stretched out they look red. When this red light strikes the moon's surface it also appears red. How red the moon appears can depend on a number of things. This includes how much pollution there is, and cloud cover or debris there is in the atmosphere. According to astronomers, the lunar eclipse in the month of July between the 27th and 28th of July will be the longest of the century. Astronomers have said the blood moon and the lunar eclipse due to take place this month will outshine every single other eclipse that has taken place since 2001, and is likely to be the longest one until 2100. The blood moon in July will last approximately 1 hour and 43 minutes, which is nearly 40 minutes longer than the super blue blood moon which took place on the 31st of January earlier this year. On the 31st of January the moon was full for the second time in a month. This was a rare occasion as it only happens once every two and a half years, and is known as a blue moon. The best places to view the eclipse were from Central and Eastern Asia, Indonesia, New Zealand and Australia, although Alaska and Hawaii did get a glimpse. The eclipse moon's reddish colour earned it the nickname Blood Moon. According to astronomer Bruce McClaw, on the night of the Blood Moon stargazers will be able to view a partial eclipse followed by an exceptionally long lunar eclipse. There is a reason why it's going to last for so long. In July the full moon and the lunar apogee falls at exactly the same time, which is a fairly unusual occurrence. The lunar apogee is when the moon is at its farthest orbital point from the Earth, which makes the moon appear very small in distance. According to McClaw, this full moon is sometimes referred to as a micro moon or a mini moon. When the moon is in this position, it takes more time to cross the shadow cast by the Earth than it does when the moon is a little bit closer, which is why the time that the blood moon can be seen is extended. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.